Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about the water bottle flip challenge and unless you've been living um, inside a box, you should know that it's when someone tries to flip a water bottle upright so that it stands upright. Nevertheless, there's a lot of interesting and important physics going on in this simple trick. After that said, um, let's talk about the physics of the water bottle flips. So, when you flip a water bottle, you give it angular momentum, which is basically a extremely fancy word for saying rotational force. So, not only do you give the force that makes it rotate, but also the water inside. When you flip a water bottle, a um, little bit of water is going to reach um, the other side before the rest is. And this little bit of water has mass pulling the rest of the water and lightly changing the center of gravity. But then um, it pulls on more water, changing the center of gravity so much that it causes the bottle to flip. And at this point, it keeps on rotating. So the change in center of mass is the reason for why the bottle rotates for much. Now, you wouldn't think that the uneven weight of the water in the bottle would cause it to flip. But it actually does. When you flip a bottle full of water, um, it doesn't flip nearly as much as a bottle um, with one third full. This is why. Um, when you fill it one third full, the water has place to switch around and move to change the center of gravity. But when it's full, like this, it literally has no space to switch around and change its center of gravity. However, on the flip side, pun intended, if a bottle has too little water, then it won't be able to land with stability because there's not enough mass to keep it in place firmly in, on the floor, as you can see here. Meanwhile, if it's too full, its center of gravity will be too high and will not land properly like this. But if a bottle is about one third or one fourth full, it'll just it'll have right just the right amount of mass to keep it stable, like this. So now that we know the science, I'm going to give you some tips on how to flip a water bottle successfully. Tip number one, fill about one fourth to one third of the water bottle with water, because as you saw, um, then it'll have just the right amount of mass to keep it firmly in place when it lands. Tip number two, try to have a flat bottom. You can see this, you can see this bottle doesn't have that flat of a bottom, but if you can find a bottle with a flat bottom, then then it'll be easier for you to flip the bottle successfully. And finally, tip number three, practice. You need just the right amount of angular momentum to flip it. 